February 1st, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Mark chapter 4 from the New Testament. Again he began to teach by the lake. Such a large crowd gathered around him that he got into a boat on the lake and sat there while the whole crowd was on the shore by the lake. He taught them many things in parables, and in his teaching said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. When the sun came up, it was scorched, and because it did not have sufficient root, it withered. Other seed fell among the thorns, and they grew up and choked it, and it did not produce grain. But other seed fell on good soil, and produced grain, sprouting and growing, some yielded thirty times as much, some sixty, and some a hundred times. And he said, Whoever has ears to hear had better listen. When he was alone, those around him with the twelve asked him about the parables. He said to them, The secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but to those outside, everything is in parables. So that although they look, they may look but not see, and although they hear, they may hear but not understand, so they may not repent and be forgiven. He said to them, Don't you understand this parable? Then how will you understand any parable? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. Whenever they hear, immediately Satan comes and snatches the word that was sown in them. These are the ones sown on rocky ground. As soon as they hear the word, they receive it with joy. But they have no root in themselves and do not endure. Then when trouble or persecution comes because of the word, immediately they fall away. Others are the ones sown among thorns. They are those who hear the word, but worldly cares, the seductiveness of wealth, and the desire for other things come in and choke the word, and it produces nothing. But these are the ones sown on good soil. They hear the word and receive it and bear fruit. One thirty times as much, one sixty, and one a hundred. He also said to them, A lamp isn't brought to be put under a basket, or under a bed, is it? Is it to be placed on a lampstand? For nothing is hidden except to be revealed, and nothing concealed except to be brought to light. If anyone has ears to hear, he had better listen. And he said to them, Take care about what you hear. The measure you use will be the measure you receive, and more will be added to you. For whoever has will be given more, but whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. He also said the kingdom of God is like someone who spreads seed on the ground. He goes to sleep and gets up, night and day, and the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. By itself the soil produces a crop, first the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head, and when the grain is ripe, he sends in the sickle because the harvest has come. He also asked, To what can we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use to present it? It is like a mustard seed that when sown in the ground, even though it is the smallest of all the seeds in the ground, when it is sown it grows up, becomes the greatest of all garden plants, and grows large branches so that the wild birds can nest in its shade. So with many parables like these he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear. He did not speak to them without a parable, but privately he explained everything to his own disciples. On that day when evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's go across to the other side of the lake. So after leaving the crowd, they took him along, just as he was in the boat, and other boats were with him. Now a great windstorm developed, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was nearly swamped. But he was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. They woke him up and said to him, Teacher, don't you care that we are about to die? So he got up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Be quiet, calm down. Then the wind stopped, and it was dead calm. And he said to them, Why are you cowardly? Do you still not have faith? They were overwhelmed by fear and said to one another, Who then is this? Even the wind and sea obey him. God, I love the parable about the seeds. 
because it's so reflective of my relationship with you. There's times where I've been every single one of those seeds, whether um, not working on my relationship with you and I get blown off track of pursuing you, um, choked out by thorns, choked out by worldly things. Definitely had that happen for a good portion of my life. And now where I am sown in, in good soil with surrounded by good people, not thorns, uh, in your word, uh, pursuing a relationship with you, I do receive more. So you talk about those who have will receive more. I am in awe of the blessings that you give me. And it seems like our relationship grows exponentially every single day, but I'm confused why I choose sometimes to go back to being one of the other types of seeds. <laughs> if I'm a seed and I'm growing and, and I'm enjoying the sun and enjoying nutrients and doing everything I'm supposed to be doing, doing exactly what I was made to be doing. Why do I keep making those choices to go back and be choked out by thorns to be choked out by the world and worldly things and worldly people? I don't know, God, I, I don't have an answer for that, but I do go back to the parable over and over again. And, and what does that look like? Why do I keep choosing sin? Why do I keep choosing selfish things over what you want, which is so much better? Uh, maybe one of these days I'll get it, God. In the meantime, I'm just very thankful for your word. I am incredibly thankful for the blessing of the relationship I do have with you. And I'm so excited for what will happen the rest of the day between you and I. I love you very much. In your son's name we pray. Amen.